If you've seen delivery trucks driving around in Bentonville without a person behind the wheel, you aren't seeing things. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker tells us about these Walmart delivery trucks and the technology behind them. There are two delivery trucks without drivers that run routes from a Walmart fulfillment center on Dodson and Bentonville to this Walmart neighborhood market on Southwest Regional Airport Boulevard less than two miles away. These driverless trucks are carrying customers orders that are picked up here throughout the day. The whole idea here is operating these trucks back and forth on fixed, repeatable routes. And by doing so, we can constrain the autonomy problem. This is a Gotik self-driving truck. The company has been operating in Northwest Arkansas with a safety driver on board since 2017. This August is when they went driverless. Co-founder and CEO Guadam Narang says they founded the company during a time when companies were focusing on driverless personal transportation. I'm excited and proud to share that, you know, today, uh, we have validated that vision. We've achieved that milestone. Gatek is fully driverless today. Uh, to my knowledge, we are the first and the only company uh, doing this in a commercial capacity with our partner Walmart. The multi-temperature box trucks operate up to 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Narang says the trucks can handle trips up to 300 miles. He says their technology focuses on complex urban scenarios, traffic lights, intersections, and pedestrians. And he says safety is front and center of everything they do. Today we have a 100% safety record you know, based on all our operations across different markets. Uh, in this particular case, this is the route that we have been operating on for the last two and a half years. You know, since the very first day we started operations, we engaged all the local stakeholders. The trucks also operate with safety drivers in Louisiana and Texas. With the driver shortage being felt nationwide, Narang says their trucks can help with that issue while creating new jobs. From here, we will be expanding our fully driverless operations to bigger routes, uh, bigger platforms as well. Uh, as a company, we are in growth and expansion mode. Uh, we believe we have all the key components in place, all the right partnerships in place for us to be uh, you know, scaling and growing from here. I reached out to the Bentonville Police Department for comment on these driverless trucks, but they were unable to go on camera. They did tell me that they do not have any concerns about these driverless trucks or the other drivers on the roads. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News.